Now, the ClassWiz is not an algebraic calculator. It can't do algebraic manipulation for you and show you the steps, for example, of how to differentiate a function. But what we can do is we can use the differentiation function combined with table mode to be able to check or verify the answers once we've differentiated a function. And this means that you can be a lot more confident in your answer when you've differentiated a, a function. You can be much more confident and get some feedback. This has given me the same results as my differentiated function, so therefore it's more likely that I've differentiated this correctly. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to have a go at differentiating two functions. Uh, first off, we're going to have a look at differentiating x cubed multiplied by sine x. If you wanted to have a go at this yourself, now is the moment to pause the video and have a go at differentiating this function. I'm going to just produce the results in just a moment. I'm not going to show you the steps. I'll leave you to work those out for yourself. But what I am going to do is show you how you can check that this is the correct answer using the differentiator and table mode. Okay, so here's my differentiated answer. 3x squared times sine x plus x cubed times cosine x. What I've done is use the product rule there for differentiation. And indeed, I could factorize x squared from both of these two terms to have x squared and then a set of brackets with 3 sine x plus x cosine x within the brackets. Now, just before I get started, I'm going to double check that I have the class with in radians. This is very important if we use trigonometry with the differentiator, you're not going to get the correct results if you have your calculator in degrees, but we are in radians, and I'm going to access table mode for this one. So press menu, and then if we navigate down to table mode or press nine, press equals. Now you need to have ensured that you have the dual table mode active here where you have an fx and a gx in order that we can compare both the differentiated function from the calculator and our differentiated function to see if they produce the same results. So firstly what I'm going to do is use the differentiation function on the calculator so I'm going to press shift and d by dx and we've got a space here to be able to input our function so what I'm going to do is input the original function that we were first given so that's x cubed sine and don't forget, we need to just close off this bracket here. This large bracket is what's going to be differentiated. So I just want to close that bracket off for my sine x there. And what's slightly different about this, if I navigate right to input my x, because we're using table mode, there's going to be various x's that we're going to try. So I'm just going to say x equals x here. So I'm just going to press the X button here. X equals X is what you want there. And that will allow various different values of X to be used when we process this through the table function. Okay, once you're happy, I'm going to press equals. And here we're going to put the G of X in. Now this is going to be our differentiated function. This is going to be what we got when we differentiated the function ourselves. And I will use the factorized version. That way I can check if my factorization is correct as well. So that's X squared. And then in brackets, we've got three sine X. Again, remember to close your brackets off there. Plus X cosine x and close the brackets off there okay so that is my differentiated function press equals now we need to establish our range now it's up to you to choose what table range you want i would suggest having some negative values and some positive values so i'm just going to alter that one to minus five and press equals so we're going to start from minus five and work away up to an n value of five i will keep the step as one and so press equals. Now this will take a little bit of processing time. The class whiz needs to process all the, the figures here. And here we have our results. Now what you'll notice is that for f of x and g of x, we've actually got the same numerical values. And if I scroll down, let's just check that that's the case for all our values from minus five through to x equals five. Yes, it is. So what's happening here is that the table mode is showing us that when the calculator differentiates our original function and compares it with our differentiated function with the values of x from minus 5 to 5, we're going to get the same results. Now, isn't that great? You can be so much more confident. I, I'm feeling pretty confident now that uh, my differentiation is correct because I'm getting the same results as the calculator is giving me when it differentiates the function and testing the numerical values from minus 5 to 5.